In this video, I'll show you how to connect your PC Windows computer with your Canon TS3720 PIXMA printer. Very easy and I'll also show you how to print and scan using the Wi-Fi. So let's get started. So the first step is to go on your Canon PIXMA. Go where the screen is and the buttons on the left side. First step is to put this printer into pairing mode. So if we check over here, this icon, the one on the top left corner, is the Wi-Fi icon. It needs to blink and when it's blinking it means it's in pairing mode. Right now it's not. So if yours is not, what you need to do is to press this button right over here, two ovals, during two seconds, then release the button and it will make the Wi-Fi icon blinking. If you don't see the Wi-Fi icon, you'll need to enable the wireless feature by pressing the top button over here that says wireless. All right, now the printer is in pairing mode. It's time to go on the PC computer. Then on your PC computer, the easiest way is to go in the Windows Microsoft Store. Every Windows computer have this, okay? So you open the Microsoft Store and in the search box, you just need to type Canon print. Press enter, it will search for the app and this is the app made by Canon that you need to download. Click on get, click on open, over here select check all, ok. Press next, select setup now, wait a few seconds press yes. Here at this step, make sure your printer is turned on. I mean, it must be turned on. Then press next. It will search for the printer. Then press connect. Okay, after a few minutes, actually in my case, it took around 10 minutes to install the drivers, you should get this screen with the printer and a green check mark. Press the next button. Next, they'll try to sell you their service. Go on, uh, go to website, click here. Let me just close my Windows Apps Store. It will bring you on the Canon website, you're obligated to click on this, just close it once it's open and then you'll have access to the main menu screen of the app. From here you'll be able to print documents, print pictures and also to scan. Let me show you how these works, it's really quick. Uh, over here, click on document print every time you want to print a document. You're going to need to find it on your computer, so over here I'll go, let's say this one. It will open the document. If you have a faster PC computer, it will be quicker than what you see here. This is a very slow computer. This is why it takes a while just to open a document. And, and now it's time to select the page size. Uh, keep it letter size if it's just a normal piece of paper. Over here, orientation. This really depends on the kind of document you're trying to print. So I cannot really guide you through this since um, every people will try to print something different. But overall, what's the only thing I can actually suggest is over here where it says print quality. It's auto and leave it to auto if you're printing text or text with some graphics. But if you're printing pictures, you, you, you need to select high. If you do not select high, you're going to have some lines appearing on your print and it won't be pretty. Uh, this is just for pictures. Uh, right now this is a text, so I'll leave it to auto. It does a really great job for that. And here you have other options that you can check. Once you're ready, press the print button. And uh, the document will now be sent using Wi-Fi to your printer. So let me turn the camera towards the printer. Okay, so the printer has printed everything. Now let me show you how the scanner works. So whatever you scan on this printer, well, you'll be able to see it on your PC computer. So on the top here, just open this lid. 
take the page you want to scan, place it facing down with the top part of your page on um, the left side, okay? Like that. Then you need to align this corner over here of the paper with the corner of the printer. So just bring them together until both are touching. Close down the lid and then go back on the PC computer. This is the main screen of the app. You probably know it by now. Click on the scan button. Over here, select if you're scanning a document or a photo. This is just a document with text, so I'll select document. Select the size of your scan, letter size, this is what I just input there, and the resolution. If you're scanning a document with a lot of images or a lot of details, select 600 dpi. If you're scanning text, 300 is more than enough. So leave it 300 um, if it's just text and press the scan button. At this point, you just have to wait it could take around 15 seconds for the scan to appear on your screen. Okay, so this is my scan. If you have multiple pages that you like to scan and combine them in one single document, go ahead, place the next page on the scanner and press next scan. If it's the only thing you wanna scan, well, great, it's right over here. You can rotate, crop, you can correct the image, but most people won't touch these options. The important is over here, format. Do you want to save this as a PDF, PNG, or JPEG? And then range. Do you want to save all the pages? Well, here we only have one page, so we're gonna keep it, save all the pages. But if you have scanned, let's say 10 pages, but at the end you just want the first eight ones, you can go over here. And then over here, save multiple pages to a single file. I only have one page, so I, I don't really care about that. So press save when you're done. It will guide you uh, over here, select which folder you would like to use. I want to put it on the desktop, so I'll select desktop and press save. You could have also changed the name at that point and it will just confirm you that it has been saved. Press OK and this is about it. If we go on the desktop computer, right over here, that's my desktop, we can see right over here, the PDF is the file that we have scanned. Here we go. So this is it. This is how you connect, print and scan using your Canon TS3720 with your Windows PC computer. If you like this tutorial, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.